Commissioner to Border Security and Regional Operations, Benjamin Sine, highlighted that as an agency responsible to protecting the borders and the implementing agency, they have been given recommendations by the Financial Action Task Force, which they have to work towards achieving them. Sine emphasized that PNG Customs has progressed well into achieving certain recommendations outlined for them. Silver or any precious items that are that will be taken out of this country. You have to comply with all laws that, uh, and requirements that governs the, the movement of these precious items. So I believe uh, our teams from Bank of PND also have other requirements that you have to comply with. And we will have to make it known to the traveling public that these are laws that are in place. Mr. Sine said PNG will continue to maintain working relations internationally and domestically to protect PNG from money laundering and terrorist financing, as well as providing a safer economy for the country. He urged collaborations from various stakeholders to implement new laws and policies. Wilson One, acting director of Financial Analysis Supervision Unit, or FASU, at the launch highlighted that it has been embedded in the National Strategic Plan Action 29 that BPNG and Customs must have a declaration system in place. Currency is over 20,000 uh, valuables in and out of Papua New Guinea. So we, the technical team has been working behind the scenes to implement or develop those forms. Uh, to ensure that Papua New Guinea does comply with international standards as well, so best practices when it comes to protecting and securing our borders and, of course, our future. He classified the event as timely, especially when the country is facing shortage in foreign currencies where people will be desperate to look at means of moving money and valuables. fight against money laundering and various financing is not only for the government agencies, it's all of us. Uh, our responsibility to protect each other and our future. When you see su anything suspicious or you know of anything suspicious, you must report it from the public to customs or to FASU or to the law enforcement and we will take it from there to try and flush out what those illegal activities are. Mr. Hone has urged every citizen to work collaboratively in contributing to fight against money laundering and terrorist financing. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News.